The evil abuse of children that the world is waking up to today has been going on for many, many years. The Industrial Revolution was fueled by hundreds of thousands of children sold off of orphan trains at local fairs across the country, many of which were born within orphan asylums and referred to as foundlings. History shows us that not everyone sees an innocent child as someone to protect, and the Balenciaga scandal is exposing a hidden cult that celebrates the death and torture of children. The same photographer who placed the Supreme Court ruling on child porn in the Balenciaga ad that sparked this whole recent scandal also did a photo shoot for France's Double Magazine that featured a traumatized looking child having her passport photo taken for a trip to the same Disney Cruise Line that provides snorkeling trips off the coast of Epstein's Island, otherwise known as Little St. James. Both photo shoots appear to have been styled by Russian stylist Lada Volkova, a highly celebrated stylist in the fashion industry who works for Vogue, Adidas, Chanel, and has been a top stylist for Balenciaga since 2014. She has deleted her Instagram account since the scandal hit, but archived images show a dark appreciation for child abuse, images of violent pedophilia, child torture, child disembowelment, Satanism, and cannibalism. Many of these images are appreciated by her rich and famous designer friends, Gosha Rubchinsky and Mark Jacobs, both accused of peddling pedophilia in their own work. A recent video shows what appears to be fake babies sold in blood-spattered Balenciaga swag. It's in your bag. In my bag, uh, like stuff for me. Like, can we do a what's in your bag? Yeah, can we do a what's in the bag, please? Should I hold it for you and you can take things out? Excuse me. Yeah. Look, there's like a, like when she starts to cry, like then when, uh, when she's gonna pee, I don't know. Then uh, when, when she's boring, uh, she's boring. Yeah, everything but go. Right as the Balenciaga scandal goes viral, Hollywood actress Nicole Kidman, who was recently glamorizing eating bugs, proudly releases her own Balenciaga ad on Instagram. From what we are learning about these people, it seems strange for us to put our faith in any single one of them. And by all appearances, this wasn't an accident. It seems to be another demoralizing psyop. The Balenciaga stuff just gets worse and worse. Check this out. The people that recruited all of the models for Balenciaga's runway show was a woman called Rachel Chandler, who um, has been on Jeffrey Epstein's island. She's even posted a picture on Instagram of CCTV footage back in 2013, bragging about being on an island. This stuff's got me wondering if all high-end fashion brands are just fronts for human trafficking. So most of us know by now that Balenciaga got themselves canceled by having BDSM bears photographed with children. The same style bears were featured in one of their last runway shows, which was held in a mud pit, as if the brand weren't disgusting enough. But who opened for the show? Yeah, Kanye West was pretty close with Balenciaga before they got canceled for that last photo shoot. Kanye's been all over the place for years. Everybody knows that. I'm sure he's been through a lot. I feel for him, but let's keep our eyes open, yeah? It's a very small club, and yet the majority of us still seem to obsess over them, like royalty, which begs the question, do we have any power? And if we someday find that we do, what are we going to do about this evil? It's easy to write off smart people doing stupid things to incompetence or haste, but this one just... It doesn't make sense. First, the facts. Balenciaga is one of the world's most expensive clothing brands in the world, and for some reason, their Christmas ad campaign included pictures of a child with a bear. When you zoom on on the bear, it's dressed, shall we say, unusually. People who know about these things say its outfit is inspired by bondage outfits used in certain sex acts. This, in and of itself, is troubling. Then there's another ad. You zoom in on it, and you see the papers laying around the bag that is being advertised, 
is printouts of a child pornography case, specifically United States versus Williams in 2008, that upheld the law making child porn illegal. Next, add to the celebrities who endorse Balenciaga. It's a who's who from Kim Kardashian to Haley Bieber. And remember the ad. All the ads had to go through dozens of people, ad agencies, creative, photographers, set designers, executives, agents, casting folks. And somehow, they end up with all of this. Chris Hans here, host of the Aggressive Progressive. Balenciaga's at this saying, oh, we had no idea. Uh, we're now suing the ad company. This is how the Daily Mail puts it. First, it was kids with BDSM dolls. Then a shoot fe featuring SCOTUS child porn docs. Now, another sinister twist in the scandal a prominently placed book about an artist who works include naked and castrated toddlers. This can't be a mistake. You can't explain this away. Well, it's not a mistake from the person who developed the ad. It's clearly somebody in the marketing department at Balenciaga, which, by the way, I just learned how to pronounce about an hour ago. Uh, they clearly made a mistake somewhere in that department, and somebody should be getting fired, uh, I don't know, about an hour ago. Well, or, or also investigated for something normal people don't think like this, shall, shall we say. Although I'm not sure I believe you on the Balenciaga thing. I feel like a man with as strong of a tie game as you, okay, <laughs> would know about these top fashion brands, okay? But uh, this is what Balenciaga uh, said in one of their many statements. When you're making many statements, you're, you're not winning yeah. either. The gift collection campaign featured children with plush bear bags dressed in what some have labeled BDSM-inspired outfits. Our plush bear bags in the gift collection should not have been featured with children. Well, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know who I, thought this was a good idea. Yeah, I, I, well, but I, what I, what's confounding to me is how many people this had to go through, right? It wasn't just one person in the marketing or ad department. And I'm, I, it, and, and I'm kind of wondering where this goes, right? Does, does it, do we finally stop with sort of the weirdness of fashion or does it just continue? No, I think this continues because we're all talking about Balenciaga. Uh, I was joking when I said I didn't know how to pronounce their name earlier, but a lot of people didn't know how to pronounce their name earlier. Now a lot more people do. And, and even though this is bad publicity for them, a lot of people know their name right now and know that they're a high fashion brand and maybe they're mo looking to move into a more mainstream market and they're using this scandal to get their name brand out there and about a year from now nobody's gonna remember this ad but they might remember that balenciaga name so you don't you don't necessarily buy that it was a mistake i don't buy it was a mistake too many people had to sign off on it if it was a mistake somebody would have been fired and out like they would have been fired for this this is a ridiculous ad campaign uh, judging from any normal standard of mass marketing. Yeah, well, uh, any, so any normal standard of humanity.